Under the government of Ferdinand and Imelda Marcos in 1965, many art and culture projects are implemented even in times of poverty and volatile social conditions. When martial law was declared on September 21, 1972 by Ferdinand Marcos, he envisioned Bagong Lipunan that worked toward the rebirth of a long-lost Filipino civilization that aspires Philippine modernization and development. This vision was propagated and implemented through art and culture programs that combine the fine arts, architecture, interior design, tourism, buildings, engineering, and urban planning. National pride was instilled by using the pre-modern through art making, folk festivals, and museums devoted to collecting and displaying ethnographic artifacts natural specimens among these sites was the National Museum which was then revitalized. At the center of this art and culture program was the CCP or Cultural Center of the Philippines, the premier bureaucratic entity in which art acquisition, exhibition, workshops, grants and awards were implemented. Leandro Loxin, the chief architect of Emelda Marcos, designed the modernist cantilevered building described as a cross between the vernacular Bahay Kubo and minimalist structure that stands like a shrine on the land reclaimed from the historic Manila Bay. Folk Arts Theater, the venue of the first Miss Universe pageant in the Philippines in 1974. Philippine International Convention Center or PICC housed the 1976 IMF World Bank Conference. The Coconut Palace was built in anticipation of a papal visit. Manila Film Center was built to host the Manila International Film Festival. National Art Center in Mount Makiling, designed by national artist architect Leandro Loxin, appropriated the style of vernacular house like the Ifugao Fale. 